Hey everyone, this is Crystal Fisher here. Um, today is part 15 of my Spy the Dragon Let's Play. And um, today we're going into High Caves. Yeah, High Caves is quite a good level, it's quite a big level. Um, a lot of places to go um, up there, up here. Um, and it's one of the only uh, tr um, levels in the Spyro series. Actually, there's a few in Spyro 3, but in Spyro 1, this is the only um, level that has a different audio track between different countries' versions. For example, um, this the one the song you're hearing right now is actually a remix of um, of um, uh, Treetops in uh, the Fourth World, and um, yeah, to remix it's been slowed down essentially. I mean, there's not much I can't really classify it as a new track. Um, but in the Power version, which I'm not playing at the moment, despite being an Aussie, that uh, Power's for Europe. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Uh, 40 dragons now, that's quite good. We're halfway there. Um, yeah, despite being <clears throat> an Australian, I don't actually... Um, on the PlayStation Network, they don't have Spyro, the Spyro series on the PSN, uh, Australia or Europe, so I had to get an American card. So, yeah. Um, but um, the actual song for High Caves Power version um, is way better. It's a completely new track. Um, if you if you if you watch my soundtrack video, which I mean, to be honest, without bragging, I've got like a hundred views each, so that's actually really good for someone like me. Um, yeah, if you watch them, I think it's called Unknown Track Three because it, on the soundtrack, um, obviously an American did it, and it. Or I don't know Japanese, I don't know, and it because it just says unknown track three, but really it, it is the real power. Um, it is the real high caves version. That's really good. I'll make a link for it. In fact, I'll rename it because I'm sure people will want to hear the power version more. It's quite similarly to how everyone likes listening to the greatest hits version of the tracks. But um, yeah, and this is Ajax, the 41st Dragon. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you. I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Anyway, to be perfectly honest, High Cave is quite a confusing level. I mean, it's a great level. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of the ch more challenging levels in the game. Not in terms of actual um, enemy difficulty, because to be honest, it's not enemies are pretty easy to defeat in any level. But um, <clears throat> the good thing about this is that. Um, you know, it's quite confusing, but it's in a good way. It's in, you know, you, you miss jams, but it's sort of, it's, it's a fun way to, to be confused. Which, that makes no sense. And here's Cedric. Try combining supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. 42nd Dragon. And the one thing you notice is the return home key, um, the return home portal and the, um, not the, uh, the return home portal and the um, gems all disappear uh, when a dragon speaks. Now, if you haven't played this game before, um, you probably don't know about this, but um, if you fall, which I just did, um, you will get saved by fairies. Uh, I'll probably do it again sometime when I have to get back. It's a really cool feature, so you can't die. Um, there is one. There is some instances where you can actually you will die. Um, sometimes if you charge at a certain point. Um, you'll die. Now we're going to quickly glide over here. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, in a minute. <clears throat> no, I was just talking about that. Um, so, yeah, and now watch this. Now I'm going to hit that guy with the. Yeah. Did it. So I sound a bit bored today. It's just, um, I'm sort of in a rush. I've got to go somewhere, but yeah, so. You, um, I think this is a boring part, but um, <clears throat> I got a bit of a sore throat. Um, so anyway, now watch. So if I fly down here, um, anywhere the fairy will pick me up, which is awesome, really. Um, okay, now the next part we're going to go to is um, this place here. Um, now there's some enemies you're about to see um, right there, like these bug things, and you can't kill them normally. You have to either use the supercharge or the super flame. Actually, it's not this super flame, but the you know um, the special breath thing that the fairy gives you. 
Um, and yeah, for some reason when I was younger, they used to scare me, mainly because they go so fast, like you can't, you just can't walk along this area, you always have to be charging, otherwise it will, you know, kill you. Um, moving on, we've got to go back up here, um, what can't kill him yet. Got these stairs, there's a druid right there, um, an enemy, you kill that and um, as you might have, probably couldn't have seen, but um, the door lifts, uh, the door is currently closed because that stupid wizard thing stops it. Anyway, here we are, near the start of the level. Alright, so now watch this, this is the first time you use this in the game. You, you can shoot, it's like special power breath, you can you know, get rid of invincible walls, stuff like that. We go down here, running out of time, and yep, good. And one thing I've actually noticed recently is that um, you can, is if you look at the um, back of the Spyro, you can actually sort of see like it's like, like smoke coming from his back, like similarly to a supercharge. Uh, then we're gonna go back up here, we have to use this like five or six times really, it's annoying. Uh, this way, a lot of, this is like the last sort of section of the level. Just to let you know, there he goes, got him. And that's weird that place there, I don't know where they put that. There's a lot of blank areas in this game, like in this, no, in this level, sorry. More gems here, should have gem overload in this area, you know. And now I've got to get one more egg thief after you get these, yep. Okay. And there he is, he's an annoying egg thief, I don't know why, probably because it's quite a windy path. Shit. Oh, this guy's annoying. You're gonna have to miss some of the gems. Come on. And again, it's like a massive loop. Got him. Now there's only two more egg thieves we need to get in the game, which is quite convenient. Also, sorry about this part not being in widescreen. Uh, might have been a problem. And also, one thing I want to ask you guys is um, about the quality of the clip, um, what you think I should do to get the quality better. I probably can't get better until like part 25, but yeah, just because you know, stupid interlacing, the easy cap's still pretty shit to be perfectly honest. It's, it's still you know, all those interlacing and quality issues, you know. I'm like, emulators just do so much better. Anyway, yeah, we completed it, but that's probably bad timing. Did that. Um, yeah, I don't know why I just missed that. And I just did it again. What the hell is wrong with this supercharge? Alright, got it. And the next part, um, we're going to go to uh, Wizard Peak, part 16, um, which is quite a good level. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See ya.